Whoa, you got any beer in that cooler? Hey everybody, welcome to Whiskey and Rum, El Nido part two. It is a little moist here today, which should be expected because this is after all the wet season, which occurs roughly June through November. And personally, I don't mind coming down here and getting a little soggy because there's less people here. This is technically low season, although there's still a lot of people here. So part one, we went out, we did the boat tours, and if you haven't watched it, you're cheating. Go back and watch episode number one. But yesterday, I found something really amazing. I rented a scooter from the hotel and just went out and explored. And a first go through the McDonald's to get down to the beach we'll have to see what this looks like was expecting to find in El Nido proper. I know it's probably not the proper terminology for where I'm staying, but yeah, um, this is pretty beautiful. This whole thing about walking through the McDonald's to get down to the beach though, that's a first. That is a first. Now the sign up at the top of the mountain said Vanilla Beach. But that's not the real name for this beach. I think they're trying to do some rebranding here. Mari Meg Meg, hope I pronounced that correctly, is the beach. I'm going to switch over to Google Maps and show you guys exactly where we are. There's your McDonald's. Wasn't lying. Now, there is an access road, but it had a gate, and the security guard didn't look too friendly about letting me through. That's why I kind of backtracked and went through the McDonald's. The beach is amazing down here, and as soon as the sun comes out, I'll bust out the 360 camera, put the drone up, and get you guys some good video. But I am gonna take advantage of this cloud cover because it's a little bit cooler, and I wanna hike up to the zip line. I didn't say I was going on the zip line, but I'm gonna hike up there and at least get some video, and I'll think about going on the zip line. No promise, not really my jam.
you really think that I was gonna pass up a happy hour cheeseburger and a Long Island iced tea? No, you've lost your mind. You're not paying attention to the videos. Like this beach is amazing. This is exactly what I was looking for. Now, I like El Nido Town. All the shops, the restaurants, the little cafes, it's cool there at night. Oh, no, thank you. But when I come back here, yes, I'm gonna come back here. I'm gonna stay right down here. I'm gonna get a hold of one of these little resorts, find myself a room, and this is where I'm gonna stay. Rent a scooter, go back and forth between El Nido town, jump on the tour boats, go out to the islands. But in the morning, in the late afternoon, right here, towel, go for a swim. Right on cue, it started to rain again. That's okay, we'll tuck back here and finish up this video. So I'm assuming at this point you've watched the first part, now you've gotten to the second part. We've shown you El Nido Town. We've shown you Vanilla Beach. That's what they wanna call it. The one place I didn't get to, Leo Beach. That's right by the airport. Now flying in and flying out looked pretty good. I've done a little bit of research on it, but I'm gonna leave it up to you guys. One of you guys, it's El Nido. If you've been to El Nido, leave a comment down below. Let us know if there's anything that we're missing, leaving out, or completely off about. I should also remind you, subscribe, like, notifications. I was just told yesterday I don't do this enough during the videos, but it should be kind of first nature now. Anybody watching YouTube, if you enjoy the content, follow along because there's more to come. In fact, tomorrow I'm going to get on an airplane and fly over to Corona. But let's button up El Nido. El Nido town, it's nice, it's cute. They're doing a lot of work down on the streets. Putting in new drainage. It looks like they may even be moving the electricity underground. It's a cool little town. You will not, <laughs> just got tripped on. It's a cool little town. You're gonna have a good time there. Lots of cool little hotels. If you're on a budget, there's hostels that you can stay at. Everybody's friendly, it's safe. Port of entry, right on cue. The only motorcycle down here on this beach and he has to fire it up right when I'm doing the video, accidentally, of course. All right, getting here, you got two options. You can fly into Porta Princesa, which is a little bit farther south down the island. You'll have to get transportation up here or you can fly right into El Nido. You can connect in on Swift Air. I think maybe even Cebu Pacific, don't quote me on that. You're gonna have to check their websites. Out of Manila, and I know for sure you can fly in out of Clark because that's what I just did. 
Get yourself a hotel room, go rent a scooter. You're gonna need it to get out and explore. Do the boat trips. At least there's four different trips you can do. A, B, C, D. I don't have enough time to explain the differences because to be quite honest, I didn't do all four, I only did two. Maybe I missed something. There's tour booths all over this town. You cannot get away from them. Just go up. I wanna go on a tour. I'd like to do the best tour that's available considering the weather conditions, blah, blah, blah. Let them tell you. If you've got a little extra cash, try to get on a private boat or a semi-private boat. You're gonna see more, you're gonna to go to more places and you're gonna have a better time. High season, like I said in the first video, I couldn't even begin to imagine what it looks like and how many boats and how many people are traveling around that same circuit. Whew, man, I love it here. I'll tell you what, I'm always looking for places that I think, A, I want to take my girlfriend and B, I'd like to get my daughter over to Asia and this is one of the spots that I would take her. She's brave enough. She'd do the zip line. Me? Mm -mm. I would use the drone. I'd rather lose a drone than me. Boys, if you're interested in nightlife, partying, letting your hair out a little bit, this probably is not the spot. This is the place that you want to bring somebody with you. If you are looking for those types of destinations, you know what I'm going to tell you. Come over to our pro site behind the paywall, private videos, private discussion groups. We can tell you where to go to find all of that kind of nonsense. Whew, man, it is breathtakingly beautiful here. I'm hoping that the video that I took today comes out. There's a lot of cloud cover, man. This will blow you away. This is definitely a place to put on the map to visit. All right, y'all. Danny, I'm out of here. Thank you for watching. Thank you for following. And as always, thank you for the kind words and the support. Time to put out another freshman guide. I'm just kind of stumped. Where should we go? That looks pretty good. Yeah. Let's go check that out.